Alexander Plus is the busiest square in Berlin since the reunification of East and West Berlin after the Second World War. The square was used as a showcase of socialist architecture. This resulted in some plain bulky buildings and a huge television tower known as a fancy twam. With his height of 368 meters, it is the tallest structure in Germany. The tower was constructed in the 60s. There is a visitor platform and a revolving restaurant in the middle of the sphere. Two more monuments were added to the square, the World Time Clock by Eric Jung and the Fountain of International Friendship. Berlin Cathedral, built at the beginning of the 19th century, suffered heavy damages during the Second World War. The restoration was finally completed four years after the fall of Berlin Wall in 1993. This new barrack building features the Ministry Church and its impressive cupola, along with the baptismal and matrimonial chapels, the Imperial Staircase, the Hohenzollern Crypt with nearly 100 coffins dating back four centuries, and the Cathedral Museum. A visit to the dome requires climbing 270 steps, but the views are from there remarkable. The Brandenburg Gate is one of Berlin's most important monuments, a landmark and a symbol, all in one, with over 200 years of history. The Brandenburg Gate was erected in the late 18th century by the design of Karl Gotham, whose vision was inspired by the Athens Acropolis. After the fall of the Berlin Wall in November 1989, the Brandenburg Gate quickly reinvented itself into the new Berlin's symbol of unity and peace. The Reichstag building was constructed in 1894. It suffered several damages in the last century as a result of fire and wars. The new Reichstag building was officially opened in 1999 following the design of Norman Foster. The new dome, which visitors can enter, has proven to be an especially strong attraction and has become a symbol of the parliament and the government district. 800 tons of steel and 3,000 square meters of glass went into building this structure, which is 23.5 meters high, while 360 mirrors provide daylight to the new chamber. The Reichstag is now the second most visited attraction in Germany. The Victory Column is a monumental structure located near Berlin's Tiergarten Park, constructed at the end of the 19th century to celebrate Germany's victory over France in the Franco-Prussian War. The column is 66 meters tall and is crowned by a bronze statue of Goddess Victoria. Originally, the column was placed directly in front of the Reichstag and was moved by the Nazi government in 1939 to its current location. The 8.3 meters tall statue is an interesting example of allegorical representations linking German traditional mythological symbols to its imperial days. The column itself consists of four solid blocks of sandstone, three of which are decorated by cannon barrels captured from the enemy wars. The fourth ring was added by Hitler after the Battle of France ended. The victory column has an observation deck following the 270 steps required to reach it through its spiral staircase. Looking eastward, you can see the Reichstag, and Brandenburger Gate and the TV Tower. The Berlin Wall became an international symbol of the division of Germany after the Second World War and the Cold War between East and West. The construction of the Berlin Wall began in 1961. The German Republic Democratic GDR built 150 km barrier to hermetically seal off East of Berlin and the rest of GDR. More than 2.75 million people had fled the GDR between 1949 and 1961, the majority of them across the border separating Berlin's eastern and western sectors. The wall was designed to halt this stream of refugees and make it impossible to cross the border and check it. By 1989, at least 136 people had lost their lives at the wall. Most of them were shot by the GDR border's guard. Reforms at the Soviet Union 
and the fight of GDR citizens via Eastern Europe countries led the fall of the wall the 9th of November 1989. A boat trip is a good way to discover Berlin's innocent crossing. The cruise takes you through the eastern and western parts of Berlin, enjoying the historic buildings and the sites Museum Island and the old Nikolaviertel in the east. In the western part you will see the new government district with the Reichstag Parliament and the new built Central Railway. On the journey you will hear interesting facts about the ancient and more modern history of Berlin and learn about the peculiarities of different areas. Did you know that Berlin has more bridges than Venice? You can also try a Berliner beer on board. Thank you.